In addition to pen and paper, forget about textbooks, whiteboards, and projectors too. iPads are transforming learning in the 21st century. See how one teacher at Jackson Technology Center for Math and Science is using them to facilitate engaging education. Let's get going. Everybody needs scratch paper. 15. What? 15. 15. Oh, so this just changed 7 plus 2. And what do you get on the bottom? So see how on his card. Okay, okay, okay. So which one? I you got it. Well, the class that you saw today is an Algebra 1 class. Uh, I happen to be fortunate enough to move up with my students from 7th to 8th grade, so I've known all of them uh, approximately one and a half to two years. We have a really great relationship, and I think that makes all the difference. Uh, the, the class is generally built around technology. Uh, we use the Springboard curriculum that Garland ISD has implemented this year for Algebra 1, and we use it with a program or an app on the iPad called Notability. We really don't use the books. We have the kids download each page and then they edit and they actually write on the iPad as if it was the book. So we have them doing the same exact thing as the book only on the iPad. So everything is pretty much paperless. Today what you actually saw was a lot of review for the benchmark that they're taking next week. So it was all the concepts and all the ideas that they've learned since the beginning of the school year till now. And that is something that we use a, a website that is by teachers, for teachers, called thatquiz.org. And it works seamlessly with the iPad, and that is the system that the students are using that grades it for them, grades it for me also, but it's immediate so the students know exactly how they did the second they finish. So uh, response to intervention or RT RTI can happen right there on the fly to correct issues, not four or five days later as the traditional class would have to be. It's like we're having a book in front of us, but it's just on the iPad. We, we never use a book. And what we do is like, it's like you know how you take a pencil, you take notes on it, you answer questions. Instead, notability is when you, um, it's like, um, like, it's like you writing notes on it, but without the pencil and only using the iPad. And like so we can also, um, you know, highlight different stuff, write different stuff. Um, we can also save our stuff on Google Drive. The way, the way that I deliver content has totally changed because I have the iPad using Doseri, which is an app and a program on the computer, program on the computer and an app on the iPad, which allows me to not only control my computer, but also write on top of whatever I'm doing and it shows it on the projector and every screen in my room. Well, it's different because in other classes we would always use paper. So, yeah, like, especially now that we get to work with our groups, because Mr. C, he, he likes us to work with our groups and talk. Like, he, he doesn't like the class to be quiet because he knows that um, we're all discussing about our assignments. And so, like, my group, we, we try to always be on the same question and be at the same, like, you know, level. And so whenever, um, like I don't understand something or, um, you know, my other in the people from the group, we don't understand something then, like first we try to work together and if we don't get it then, then that's when we ask Mr. C and then Mr. C, he, he shows us in, in the computer. In, in, the, in our end of the table. In a traditional math classroom, there's always some type of warm-up. There's always some type of uh, bell ringer warm-up that actually gets, them, gets their minds going. We do the same exact thing. They pick up their iPad, which they're always, at, uh, they're always for at each station, for each group. They pick up their iPad and they scan a QR code, which is already pre-made for their class. So when they scan that code, it brings them to a class page where actually they pick their name, they have a password, they put in their password and they go in and they do the one question warm up. After that, there is an agenda in the back telling them what the next step is after the opening. Either we're going to be doing an assignment or we're going to be doing a review or whatever the case might be. So I expect them to come in, do the warm up as fast as humanly possible. After they do that, we go over it for a few seconds and briefly just make sure everybody's on the same page. And then we go to step two on the agenda, which would be either a springboard activity that we're looking at, or like you saw today, a review because we have our benchmark coming up or something like that. Mr. C has come in and has embraced this technology and the resources that have been provided um, in a radical way. I mean, he's, um, he first had the ideal of paperless math class. And, you know, when he first approached me with that, I was, whoa, uh, wait. <laughs> but 
his personality, his drive, his determination is infectious. I mean, you walk into his classroom and you can't help but be engaged. So it's taken a while and it's taken uh, a lot of luck <laughs> and a lot of support from administration a lot of support from them. I remember when I first brought up the idea four years ago, I'd like to start going paperless. The idea, it's never been done before, okay. So they gave me the freedom. They gave me enough rope that I may hang myself, but actually it turned out to be really fantastic. And the scores kept going up and up and up, and it worked. And so then we did it the next year, we expanded it, we expanded it some more, and now it's four years later, and this is just normal for our kids here at Jackson. Although math is hard, I do like it because it is something that we use every day and we're going to use it for the rest of our lives so I do like it and it's important to know how to you know, do it. When they finish an assignment they say can I go to the next one? Sure, I'm not going to stop you from doing math, yeah no problem. And they keep going and they want to. Also at the end when they get their score report it's like playing a video game. If they don't see that high score, as you, as you saw before, they will raise their hand, they'll come running to me, or they'll scream, Mr. C, what did I get wrong? How do I do it? And they're enthused about it. If I had to go into a classroom tomorrow, and I had to go back to a book, and back to chalk, I might cry. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it would definitely be a big change. And I know I'd have to go back to basics, but it would be nothing like what I can do and how far I can go with the kids as compared to the iPads and the technology that we have. It's allowed us to go so much further.